East Alabama and West Georgia, this is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. It's finally Friday. Thank you, Kevin Moon. Welcome to Dr. Don's weather. It's the primetime forecast for Friday, December 10, 2021. Reminding you to head over to the app store, search for Dr. Don's weather, click the share button, and then mash that little present icon, and you can gift Dr. Don's weather app to your friends, family, and loved ones for this Christmas. Great stocking stuffer idea. You'll be supporting Dr. Don's weather, and you'll be giving a present that could potentially save a life in the future. So give Dr. Don's weather app for Christmas this year. All right, folks, we got a lot to talk about. First thing I want to tell you is to make sure that you like us on Facebook and share us with your friends. Ask them to share with their friends. Now, we've got some more major changes on the way with our weather. We're going to get to that in just a few moments, maybe even uh, some severe weather to deal with tomorrow. But we are watching this 8 to 14 day temperature outlook as we head into December. And uh, yes, yeah, going to kind of give us an idea of what to expect as far as the temperatures are concerned as we head toward Christmas. This is valid December 17 through 23. And what this is telling us, this is giving us the odds or the percentages of how much above normal we may be during this time period. And as you can see right there on the screen, about a 70 to 80% chance that we will be above average temperatures across the southeastern United States as we head into Christmas week. How about the precipitation? Well, that's going to be near normal. Uh, there were some indications it would be below normal, uh, but that has kind of changed now. And so we think that near normal precipitation or rainfall or could it be that white stuff? We don't know. Uh, probably not, though, with the temperatures being well above average uh, during this same time period. So that's uh, kind of giving you an idea of what to look for as we head toward Christmas week. How about the Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for today? If you're going to be anywhere over in central or northern Mississippi, western Tennessee, Kentucky, southern uh, Indianapolis up there, uh, maybe southern Illinois, Indiana, uh, maybe over in southeastern Arkansas or Missouri and uh, northeastern Arkansas, you got to be on your P's and Q's here because we have an enhanced risk of severe weather in that area, which means we could see some violent tornadoes, uh, some damaging straight line winds, pretty nasty weather expected up there. Uh, a slight risk will make it down into central Tennessee, the Nashville area, and the northwest Alabama down back into central Mississippi and Louisiana. And then a marginal risk. Uh, back into north central Alabama, just general scattered thunder across east Alabama and west Georgia. That's for today. And then as we move forward to Saturday, that slight risk gets a little bit smaller and it stays up there in Tennessee and Kentucky, but we do have a marginal risk across east Alabama and west Georgia. And now understand that is a one out of five. So uh, it's not that significant, but we certainly could have some strong to marginally severe thunderstorms across East Alabama and West Georgia on your Saturday. Don't anticipate a red letter severe weather day, uh, but you do need to be weather aware. Anytime we have uh, any type of convective outlook from the National uh, Storm Prediction Center, you need to always make sure you pay attention. So be weather aware on Saturday as we get this line of thunderstorms moving through uh, sometime Saturday, maybe late morning, early afternoon. We'll look at the timing on that in just a few moments. And then as we get out there to Sunday, it's all gone. Uh, just a slight chance of thunder down there in South Florida, but we look good across East Alabama and West Georgia. So here's the National Weather Service Office of Birmingham's take on what we can see tomorrow. And you see that slight risk up there in extreme northwest Alabama. The rest of the state is under a marginal risk. And you can see the timing there on the right-hand side of the screen. 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. in northwest Alabama. 7 a.m. to noon across central Alabama. And then for our coverage area of east Alabama, primarily 11 a.m. through 6 p.m. And I got to tell you, and let's just go ahead and take this next screen 
He, this is a future cast radar. This is a model's depiction of what the model thinks is going to happen tomorrow. And this happens to be the NAM. And we're primarily looking at the timing here. And uh, I'll just go ahead and take it to the still shot right there. Uh, as that line of storms moves into East Alabama and West Georgia on Saturday, that's suggesting about 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So this line may be a little later in the afternoon, making it into East Alabama and West Georgia. We've been telling you for a couple of days that the window of opportunity, 11 a.m. through 6 p.m., that's the, the window opens at 11 a.m. and it closes at 6 p.m. This line of thunderstorms could come through at any time uh, between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. And so the, at least the NAM uh, seems to think that that time is going to be around 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Now, that would be um, the best case slash worst case scenario, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, if you're looking for a good thunderstorm, this is the best case scenario because the line's going to be coming through at the peak heating of the day. And, and so, uh, obviously, storms need heat to survive. So, uh, I got to say that this storm looks pretty pretty uh, well developed. And we'll go back to the loop and we'll let it loop through one more time. And notice when it comes through East Alabama, here we go uh, up in uh, Northwest Alabama. This would be at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then watch it as it gets into East Alabama. Those reds get pretty... Uh, pretty strong as it comes through the area. So we will keep an eye on this for you. We'll watch it very closely, bring you any updates throughout today, and then we will go live tomorrow and cover this for you if conditions warrant. Again, between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow afternoon is our best chance for severe weather across East Alabama and West Georgia. Let's take a look at what's going to happen today. We've got a little fog out there this morning. Scattered showers, um, mostly just light rain. Uh, we can't rule out a clap of thunder today, but it's not going to be a big deal today. Uh, 71 this afternoon in Roanoke. will warm up nicely. 70 in Ashland, Lineville, Widawi. Rambert goes to 67. Tallahassee, the hot spot at 77. And Pine Mountain will hit 70 this afternoon. So here's the six day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center. Don't forget to head over to the YouTube and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather and make sure you hit that little bell so that you get that push notification tomorrow when we go live for severe weather. So a 40% chance of showers today, 71. Don't anticipate anything major today. A little fog out there this morning. We'll dip down to 63 tonight. And then as we head into Saturday, a 100% chance of rain on Saturday. There is a risk of severe weather. All modes of severe weather will be possible. Damaging straight line winds would be the greatest threat, but even a small uh, tornado or two cannot be completely ruled out on Saturday as that line moves through. Uh, 70 will be your high down to 37 on Saturday night. So what's going to happen is we're going to hit that 70 mark around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then our temperature will start crashing in the afternoon. By the time we get uh, late afternoon, we'll be down into the upper 50s, uh, maybe even the mid 50s by the time the sun goes down. And we'll be headed for the upper 30s for an overnight low. But the good news is that means all the rain's going to go away with it. And by the time we get to Sunday, we're back to sunny skies. Though it'll be cool, 57 will be your high on Sunday. We maintain that chance of sunshine all the way through midweek with a slow moderating trend as we get out there toward Wednesday. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar this morning, scanning Alabama and Georgia. And you can see that we have some light showers out there moving across East Alabama into uh, maybe down there south of Columbus is where the biggest area is right now. Also, we do have some showers over in middle Georgia as well. And then back across central and north Alabama, just scattered variety. You also see the same thing down there in southwest Alabama. Uh, no strong echo return showing up on radar this morning. So there's really nothing out there to be concerned about at the moment. Head over to Dr. Don, WX.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. On the home page, upper right-hand corner, you see a button that says Donate. That's how you support Dr. Don's weather. And then right under that, you see a couple of buttons where you can download our brand new weather app. You need to do that before tomorrow so that you're guaranteed to get a push notification. 
And look, you don't have to depend on social media to watch Dr. Don's weather. If you download the weather app, you can watch it right there off of the app. We go when we go live. You get a push notification. You can tap on your on that uh, notification and just watch us right there, without having to uh, go through social media. Now, I'm not knocking social media for that purpose, though I could knock social media for a lot of other purposes. <laughs> uh, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, sometimes social media gets confused, and you don't get the push notifications as quickly as you should. Uh, so the best way to combat that is to go download the Dr. Don weather app. That goes straight to your phone. It doesn't use social media. Uh, and so do that so that you will be prepared as we head into this possibility of severe weather tomorrow. Also, while you're at drdonwx.com, click on that more button at the top. That'll carry you down to a whole other list of different pages on our website. One of those pages is the God's Country page. Go there and you can download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. You can also listen to the classic East Alabama's classic rock giant. And when you're in East Alabama, punch them up uh, at, uh, well, 89.7 for the classic and 90.9 FM for God's country. You get my daily weather forecast on both of those great stations. Have a fantastic Friday. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. I'll be back in here with you tomorrow morning with your primetime forecast, and then we'll have live coverage tomorrow during our severe weather threat, if indeed conditions warrant. So hope you have a fantastic Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.